Hi, I'm Sheriff Ron Montgomery, and this is news from the Sheriff. This is the second in a series of videos that I intend to publish to answer questions that I receive on a regular basis from the citizens in the community about various topics that occur in their neighborhoods that they have some confusion about. This video today will be talking about the topic of solicitation, or more commonly known as door-to-door -door salespeople. I'm going to discuss what the local ordinances are, what's required of solicitors, and what homeowners can and can't do if they want to prevent people from coming to their door. First, solicitors do have to have a permit to go door-to-door -door sales. In York County, a solicitor must stop one half hour before sunset and cannot start sales again until 9 a.m. the next morning. There are no sales or solicitations allowed on Sundays unless a prior arrangement has been made by the homeowner and the salesperson. Before we go any further, let's talk about those people that are not required to have a permit in York County. Persons selling, offering for sale, or soliciting orders for fresh farm fruit products, including but not limited to vegetables and dairy products. Persons delivering, selling, or offering for sale orders for newspapers. Persons 18 years of age or under who solicit for services to be personally performed by them at the residence. For example, 18 years of age or younger individuals who come to your home who want to cut your grass, wash your car, rake your leaves, shovel the snow, those types of services do not require a solicitor's permit per the Code of York County political candidates or their representatives going door to door are not required to have a solicitor's permit. Also, anyone who's licensed in the Commonwealth of Virginia to sell insurance is not required by the York County Code to have a solicitor's permit. And finally, any member of any nonprofit, religious, civic, or charitable organization who have identification with them provided by such organization are not required to have a permit. Now that we've discussed those individuals or those corporations and businesses that do not have to have a permit, let's talk about those that do. It shall be unlawful for any person to act as a solicitor without first securing a solicitor's permit from the sheriff. That permit must be carried on their persons at all time and be visible when they come to your door. It shall be unlawful for any solicitor to fail to disclose to the prospective buyer upon request his name and the name of the company, product, or organization he represents, and if requested to do so, that person must leave the premises immediately. Basically, what this portion of the code says is if someone comes to your door soliciting and you don't want to hear from that individual or hear what they have to say or talk about what they're offering for sale, if you tell them to leave, they must leave immediately or they would be trespassing under the law. You need to get off my doorstep. And you could therefore call the sheriff's office and have them removed. What does it entail to get a permit? Anyone that's going door to door in your county that meets the requirement for a permit must file an application with the sheriff's office. We do a background check and then we issue them a permit which is good for a year. I was just in the area uh, speaking with homeowners. As we go forward with that, let's discuss how do you keep solicitors off of your property. If you want to post on your property a no soliciting or a no trespassing sign, that would make it illegal for anyone to come upon your property with the sole intent of soliciting goods for sale. Finally, it shall be unlawful for any person issued a permit pursuant to this code to use or exploit the fact that being issued a permit by the county or the sheriff's office where it is issued in any way constitutes an endorsement or approval by the county or the sheriff's office of that product that they are selling. If you have any questions about the solicitation ordinance or the contents of this video, please feel free to contact me at sheriff at yourcounty.gov. I'm Sheriff Ron Montgomery and this has been News from the Sheriff.